Hey guys, Nick Vanstraden, number 13, TNN Racing Polaris. Weekend recap on Ingrid River, uh, the race as a whole. Um, we got there on Wednesday, got everything set up. Um, went to, uh, we got the trailer leveled out, and we just kind of putzed around, went through some of last year's telemetry, and, and got the sled set up for what we thought was going to be best for practice. Practice went well. Um, we didn't turn the fastest times, but we didn't turn the slowest times. We had some handling to work with. Um, the track was really soft, surprisingly. Um, we kind of figured it'd be a little harder than normal just because the ice was all laid down when it was well below zero. Um, but the warm weather and the mild temps kind of brought the ice back to what was reminiscent of last year a little bit. Um, Thursday went good. Time trials, we had fast time for uh, probably four or five guys, and we were the second guy out. Um, and then we ended up dropping back to third uh, fastest. Um, so we weren't too disappointed with that. We still knew that we had some, some things to work on. Um, Friday went well, um, up until the, the final. Um, we just were really low on speed for some reason. Um, we really couldn't pinpoint what ended up causing the issue. Um, although after Friday night, we finished third, which was awesome to get a podium in the TLR Cup Tour. Um, but we still knew we had a lot of work to do. We came back to the trailer and and really went to work changing anything that could have caused an issue. Um, and the sled seemed to come back to life on Saturday. Um, and in the semifinal, uh, we made it into the World Championship, taken first in our semifinal race, and um, with a pretty decent margin. And we just kind of, we assumed we had the problem solved. Um, Sunday rolled around, World Championship time. We went out for practice. Things seemed really well. Um, lap times were really fast. Speeds were way up speeds we haven't really hit at that track um and come final time things i don't know what happened uh the gremlins crept back up and we were low on speed low on rpm had a great hole shot um on the first the first start so we just rode out the first 10 laps and started finding lines and grooves and waited for the second uh the second bout the 20 lap final um Again, on the restart, great hole shot, and going down the back stretch, we just didn't have the speed um, that we thought we were going to have. So we just let him go and let him wear themselves out. And with, um, boy, about halfway through, I'd say, we really started picking up the pace, um, picking off people, but having, uh, having a slower straightaway speed definitely hurt us. The guys that we did pass in the corner ended up getting by us again on the straightaway, so we had to spend some time passing people. Um, we got fortunate enough to, to get a red, and it helped us out. Everything got bunched back up. Um, and with two laps to go, um, there was another accident in front of us that we avoided. And I uh, heard red on the scanners and I saw a red flag. Um, but we the, the race just got got called. I mean, Blaine, Blaine crossed the finish line with a checkered, and, and according to the rule book, that's, that's, the, that's the call of the race right there. So... Um, I, we, our team talked about it. We could be more happier for Blaine. If we had to pick another team to get the win, obviously it's a Polaris team, so we're pretty happy with that. But um, there really isn't, in, in my opinion as a driver, there really isn't more a more deserving team than Blaine's team. Um, they work really hard. They're a small team. And um, I, think, I think they showed people that you can do – um, you can do a world championship with a small team. You don't need a fancy semi. You don't need um, all the flashy gadgets. You need determination, dedication, and hard work. And um, that they definitely showed that this weekend. So our hat's off to Blaine. Um, you did a great job. You drove a great race. You drove smart. Um, and um, you know, and he's a he's a great guy too. We enjoy time at the track with him. So. Um, our team is is collectively regrouping. Um, we did find some things this weekend that we didn't know last weekend that are going to help us in the future. Um, and we're going to go to Wausau and um, see if I can shake the curse. Uh, hopefully we can win one there. Um, but all in all, you know, a second place, it's pretty hard to walk away with your head held low uh, with a second place at Eagle River, especially with all the, all the carnage that was going on this weekend. It was a brutal track. Um, the sled's definitely getting a makeover. Bushings are getting replaced. Um, and and we're going to go from there. The driver will get healed up. We'll be good to go for Wausau. And um, the crew's pretty eager to get back 
get back on the track and, and see if we can get back to some podium finishes. So thank you to everybody um, that, that supports us, helps us, um, sponsors us, the, the family members of the crew. It was a long week last week. Um, it was kind of stressful at some points, and other times it was a lot of fun. And uh, I just, we want to thank, the team wants to thank everybody that helps us. It's, it's pretty tremendous to see the amount of support that we get every single weekend um, from our sponsors. And, and we love the feedback on Facebook. Um, so please keep sending us messages. Don't be afraid to ask us questions. Um, we'll answer just about anything we can. Um, you know, and, and we're always open. If you're at the racetrack, please come in. Um, we got new hotshot cards finally. Um, we've still got some coloring books. So if uh, parents, if you got kids, bring the kids in. We'll get them some coloring books. We'll do some pictures. And uh, just remember, if we get a podium, there's a pair of goggles going in the stands. We got to throw a couple pairs away this weekend. So um, don't be afraid to come to the track and uh, have a chance to get a pair of goggles. Thank you.